How wonderful to sing those words, that the earth may be filled with the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Many of you will know, and you'll certainly know if you've already worshipped with us this morning um, during Pajama Church, that this Thursday is the day um, of ascension, the day when we remember that Jesus ascended into heaven and that he is seated at the right hand of the Father. And uh, when Jesus ascended into heaven, the disciples, those first disciples, were asked to wait. They were asked to wait for the coming of the Holy Spirit. And as they waited, they prayed. And uh, for, for many years now, the church has used the time in between Ascension Day and the day of Pentecost um, to have something that's a real focus on prayer and a real focus on praying, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And uh, over the years, we've engaged with Thy Kingdom Come, and both at St George's and in the wider church, in a variety of different ways. But this year, everything is a bit different, but we're going to encourage you to do something that's really simple. Many of you will remember several years ago, um, making um, a bracelet, a band that had five knots on it. Uh, and those five knots represented five people that you wanted to pray for to um, come to know Jesus. We're going to be doing a similar thing this year, but we're going to be writing those names on a piece of paper and encouraging you to put them onto, um, or next to the mirror or next to your bathroom cabinet or next to your sink or wherever it is that you brush your teeth. So that twice a day for three minutes, you're praying thy kingdom come in the lives of these five people. It may be that you're still praying regularly for those five people that you prayed for a couple of years ago. It may be that you needed a bit of a reminder to pray again. It may be that you've seen some wonderful answers to prayer in the lives of those people that you prayed for. Whichever one of those it is, isn't it a wonderful opportunity to pray at least twice a day, thy kingdom come in the lives of these people that I love. It's also a really special and important thing, I think, to take something that's very ordinary, like brushing our teeth, and remind ourselves that when we follow Jesus, every area of our lives is set apart to him. So Tim will be contacting you uh, in uh, the letter that he sends out next week and he'll be asking you to do that. Uh, just to encourage you, if you would like to do so, to write five names of people you're praying for onto a piece of paper and to put it next to where you brush your teeth and use that time to be praying, thy kingdom come in the lives of these people. I don't know how many of you are aware of the research that's been done, but there's amazing stories of God being well and truly on the move in our nation at the moment. One in four people have engaged with worship online since lockdown began. This is a really exciting time to be praying that people will come to know Jesus, who is the way, the truth and the life, and in whom life in all its fullness can be found. So let's have our final blessing at the end of our service. Friends, may God the Father, by whose love Christ Jesus was raised from the dead, open to you who believe the gates of everlasting life. Amen. God the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share in the Easter faith. Amen. God, the Holy Spirit, who filled the disciples with the life of the risen Christ, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and all those you love and pray for today and always. Amen. So stay at home in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.